Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I'm going to do another bloom technique and I'm going to be working on um, two, I think these are four and a quarter by four and a quarter uh, ceramic tiles. And I will put in the description um, my base coat, my what I mixed with my paints and my topper. But let's go over my paints. I just got a new set of Arteza 10 iridescent acrylic colors and I haven't tried them out yet. Pretty excited to do that today. And from the looks of them, they are very, very shiny. And the colors I'm using are Shocking Lime Green. Hopefully you can see that and see how shiny that is. I'm using Electric Plum Purple, very pretty. I'm using Glowing Peach, although this to me looks like more of a pinky color, but they're calling it peach. And the last one I'm using today is Fairy Tale Blue. So let's get started. Put down my base coat and this just is house paint and I am going to spread it all the way around on the tile I am using a silicone mat under these tiles and it really does uh, grip the grip the tile really well and I also did a, off camera I did a small uh, canvas and we put it on this silicone mat and again I had no problem with when I uh, would spin this lazy Susan that the canvas stayed right on there okay so let's put down our colors I'll start with this blue. And next is that purple. Next, this is the one they called Peach. And the last is the Lime Green. And I'll put my topper on. I am using a white topper today. And I can tell you it's Floetrol, three parts Floetrol to one part Amsterdam uh, white. It's the Amsterdam titanium white. That's the topper I used. So I'm going to use my little air gun here to move the paint to start with. I'm going to push it down and then over trying to get that white over the colors Okay, and I'm going to let that sit a minute. And I'm going to try spinning it first and I may have to blow it out a little bit myself. 
I'll let it sit here just another minute because a lot is coming up here. And I can poke a few air bubbles while I wait. Okay, let's give it a spin here. Give it another spin. Okay, and unfortunately I just got the corner of my mat right in there. Let's give it another spin. Looks very good. I'm going to give it another spin. Spin in the opposite direction. I'm going to see if I can blow some of this out myself. Okay. I think I'll give it another spin here. And I think on this one, I did get a little too much of the topper in the middle. So I may give that a little more color and try and blow it out again. See what happens here. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of topper this time. And I'm going to blow it out myself. And I'm going to give that a minute to rest here. do have a lot, 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 lot of cells coming up here. And I have some lacing coming up. I'm 
this paint here is, is so very shiny and beautiful. It almost looks like a rainbow right in here. So let's give it a spin. Another spin. Give it another spin here. Another spin. That's looking much better. And now I'm going to try and blow it out myself a little bit, or maybe we'll do a little bit of tipping here. See if it'll tip a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful colors in here. Just trying to blow very, very gently here. Okay, and I think I'll just give it another spin. Pretty happy with it. See what I get with one more spin. Okay, pretty happy with that. Very pretty. I'll give you a close-up. Hopefully you can see some of that shine in there. So pretty. And I will give you a, a real close-up at the end when I get the next one finished. Okay, we'll put that one aside. And we'll start the second one. This time I'll try not to put so much topper down and see what the outcome is. Just going to put my base coat down again. Okay. And let's start with the green this time. We'll just switch it up a little bit. And the blue. And next, we'll use the purple. And last, the peach. And the topper. And this time, I'll try and blow it myself to get it started.
going to let that sit there a minute. Pop a few little bubbles here. I think the hardest thing about blooms is you have to have a lot of patience to let everything do its do its job here. That looks just beautiful around the edge right now. A few more little air bubbles here. Okay, so let's start spinning. I think I'm finally getting the hang of the spinning thing. Looking very good. Another spin. Give it another spin. Okay, we're getting to the edges. Another spin. And let's do it one more time. blow out in a, just a few areas here. Okay, I am going to give it one more spin here. Get 
middle one more. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that too. And I will give you a close up of this one. I've got that the green, the lime green in the middle there. And some of the blue did blend with that green. Very pretty. Okay, I'm going to put both of them down here on the little mat. And get you in for a close-up. Tell me what you think. I really do like these Arteza iridescent colors. This is the last one I did. I'll try and get you in very close so you can just see the the shimmer and the shine on these colors. Beautiful. And here's the first one I did. If you remember, I put like two layers of paint on this one. I'm very happy with how these turned out. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.